Hello peeps and welcome back to Terraformer Craft. Alright, so, like I said, we're just starting out. It's morning. There are some zombies lurking around somewhere, but I don't know exactly where at the moment. As long as I stay away from my house, we're all good. Hey, we got some growth on our trees. Awesome. So, we're still waiting for these to burn out. In the meantime... Let's see. We got six tool molds. We got a bronze chisel. And I have a hammer on me. So I think what I might do while these are working is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to chisel out this gabbro boulder here so that I can start getting rid of it because I really would like to... Hello! Mew! Mew! Because I really would like to be able to just get rid of this gabbro boulder, fill in the ground, and not have to worry about a gigantic boulder taking up part of my front yard. And then this will also give me some smooth stone that I can use for Mew! Mew! Did you get lost? Give me some smooth stone that I can use for building my house. Yes, I know that's a bad word, but... Excuse me for just a moment. There we go. So, we'll dig this gabber boulder out, and then I have some dirt that I can use to fill this in. Because eventually I intend to build... I might actually put my house right in this general area. Like, I don't want to have my house right on the water side because I need to put some farmland out there. But I don't want to have it too far away. It would be nice to have some smooth stone for building various things. I'm not going to worry about carving it down any lower, I just want the surface layer gone. I'll just keep doing this until the fires burn out. And once the fires burn out, which it looks like they just started to, there we go. So, we'll come over here. Break that out. And now I have a thousand units of bronze in here, which I can use to get a few more tools, including a sword, which will be very nice. We get a spare pick and a spare prospector's pick. And then we'll just get four bars of bronze. A 
once they're cool. We'll pop them out of the molds. Actually, I think... Do they actually... No, I think you have to put it in a barrel of water. I don't have any barrels yet. Although I probably should fix that, huh? Let's go ahead and get a barrel. Wait, how do I have a thousand... How did I put that back in? I don't know. Regardless. That gets me a barrel. Which I can put, I think, right here. And then break down another hickory log. And that is going to get me a bucket. With the bucket, I can come over here and put some water in. And then if I put hot metal in, it consumes water and cools it down. Get out of there. See, we put that in. It's going to consume some of the water, and it's going to cool it down. So now we can use these to get ourselves some bronze bars. Most of the time, we'll even get the mold back. And the bronze bars, we'll just stack on the ground over here until we're ready to use them. All right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a stick. There we go. And we'll break out our scythe blade. We'll put the scythe together. And we're going to use this to go through and just absolutely wreck the nearby trees. going to get us a lot of sticks. It's also going to help us clear up the general area right around where we're wanting to build. There's a bunch of willow trees over this way. They're great for getting sticks. So we're going to need a lot of sticks for what I'm planning on doing. Sticks are still used to make fence posts. And there's some livestock around here that I would like to start collecting. It can also be used to gather straw, uh, straw in mass. But right now, I think getting sticks is probably a better use of the durability on it. Because I need tons and tons of sticks for three things. Number one, I need some fences, because I'm going to want to keep some livestock, and I need a way to keep them in. Number two, if I'm going to do any deep mining, it's most efficient to do core sampling and use ladders. Uh, core sampling basically is just a fancy word for digging straight down and putting a ladder in to see what kind of stone layers you're looking at on the underneath might actually even be able to find a flux stone that way, although they're more common in the upper layers, from what I understand. Because most types of flux are sedimentary, and that only shows up in the upper layer. You waited until I started recording to start mewing your head off. I'm wise to you. I 
I know this is an attention-seeking tactic. Mew. Mew. Uh, what type of grain is that? Looks like rye. Uh, smooth gabbro. Tons of it. Let's go put this away. Mew! 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 I hear you. I'm sure they hear you. We'll put these saplings away. I'm going to eventually want to start growing some willow saplings and some hickory saplings, actually. Uh, white cedar, maybe not so much. Let's go ahead and break out the rest of our tools and get those made. Including our sword. Now, the extra pickaxe head and the extra prospector's pick head, I'm not going to assemble immediately. But I am going to put together my sword, my shovel, and my axe. Uh, for right now, I'm going to hang up my hammer. And I'm going to hang up my... what else do I have that I can hang up? I'm going to hang up the prospector's pick. And put this stuff away. Uh, I've got plenty of sticks at the moment. I definitely want to keep my sword at the ready on my hotbar, whatever I did with my sword. Where is it? There it is. And probably want my axe on my hotbar here. Hey, hush! Mew, mew, mew. Tons of mews. Alright, um... I do definitely want to finish digging out the gabbro. Holy crap, you guys are being loud. In case you can't hear that, one of my cats actually had another litter of kittens. They have hit the stage where they're enjoying wandering around. And mewing their full heads off. Okay, and if it's possible, I would like to fill this in with soil gathered from the general area because then it'll look the same. So I want to have, like, gabbro soil. You can tell what kind of soil and area, or what kind of area soil was taken from because it'll be listed on here. See where it says dirt gabbro? That means that this dirt was gathered from an area where gabbro was the first layer. Uh, let's go ahead and use up the stone shovel. At some point in the near future, I need to make a charcoal pit. Now, one thing to note, when you get into farming, you can't just dig up dirt from anywhere, put it down, and start farming on it and expect it to work. Naturally occurring dirt has different nutrient levels imbued in it. Dirt that you place is completely devoid of nutrients. So... Mew, mew, mew. Yeah, so if you're gonna if you're gonna do any sort of irrigation or anything like that, you have to dig into an existing body of water and dig water channels for the water to flow up. You can't just you can't just uh put down dirt next to a body of water and expect it to work. It won't. Mew. Yeah. 
Did you get lost again? There. Nice and filled in. Excuse me for just another second while I go rescue this thing. Okay. Oh, hello. I came back at just the perfect time. Where did they come from? Okay. Apparently my little house here isn't quite as safe as I thought. Oh, hello. At least I'm armed. Zombies are relatively weak against slashing attacks. There we go. Alright. Another thing that I would like to do is I'd like to get some of this dirt that I've been gathering. and fill in this area over here. Now I'll have to remember that this area is not going to be fertile ground. But the flowing water over here is just driving me insane, so... Actually, oh, hello. Skeletons are not strong against, are not weak against slashing attacks. Ah, you got me. Alright, well. Yeah, you can see just how strong the skeletons are. To slashing attacks, you have to use bludgeoning weapons to fight skeletons. Piercing attacks do like nothing to them. Ah, uh, that's a spider. It's almost morning. Eh, that's my second death. Glad I'm not playing this hardcore. Is this wheat? No, it's still rye. Gather it anyway. There's a deer. That's a skeleton. Leave me alone. Am I the only one that thinks the diorite looks like a sponge with this texture pack? That's another thing that I did not mention previous episodes. 
That's barley. Um, the reason I'm using a texture pack is because certain types of ore, especially tetrahedrite, with certain texture packs are almost impossible to see against native stone. In vanilla, trying to make out tetrahedrite against certain types of stone is just a nightmare. So, I'm using, I believe it's Atlas Photorealism. And the reason why I'm using it is only because I can see ores against the backdrops more easily with this. Over here, gather up all my crap. Get my shovel back. Combine all the barley I've gotten. Ninety-eight ounces of barley. And let's go ahead and put the bucket away. I don't know why I'm keeping rotten flesh. It's kind of pointless. Put some of these sticks away. One thing that I want to point out is that there's kind of a little bit of a cheat here. Notice that my food bar is refilled when I died. Yeah, it's kind of an exploit. You can reset your nutrition bars by dying. But I do kind of want to clear out the area right around here. Because there's one other thing I'd like to try and do this episode, and I don't know if it's going to work with what I have. Because I think you have to actually have wheat, but I want to try and lure those cows back here. So I can start breeding them. Damn it. But before I do that, I need to have a pasture for them. That's why I was gathering so many sticks. Oh, hello, twofer. Chop down this willow tree. Willow trees are usually good for making charcoal, too, so it's real nice that I'm in an area that has them. I'd still prefer a jungle. Kapok is still definitely the go-to charcoal forest tree, but in the absence of that, Willow's pretty decent. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear out all of the tall grass in the general area. We'll pick up the stones. Clear us up a nice little spot right here. You know what? I think I'm even going to leave this water here. Have a nice little natural trough for them. Okay, let's go get some sticks, put the rest of this stuff away, and make ourselves some fences. Uh, I need to put the... let's put the spindle away. And the seeds. We'll need these planks. Uh, what else are we going to need? Nothing out of here immediately. Put the rose and the flower away. And go ahead and pile the logs. A 
Logs don't have to be all the same type. It helps, but... There we go. And... Oh, I died. So I gotta make my... Gotta make my crafting bench over. And we'll take our sticks, make some fences. And I believe this is all it takes to make a fence gate. Nope, it still takes the actual planks. Actually, I only need one, don't I? No? Can you not make fence gates? Yeah? Does it have to be... Oh, you have to use actual boards? Or is it sticks? Or do they all have to be the same type, I bet? Like this is going to give me a white cedar gate. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Wait. Does that mean there's different types of fences too? Yeah, sure enough. Logs and planks get you fences. Only six though. Whereas this gets you two. So... I don't know which recipe is more efficient, but I think we're going to use this one. Ah, uh, that's going to look weird. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's going to look weird, but it'll work. Later on, if I can find some oak, I'll replace it. Okay, let's delete player death marker, since we don't need it anymore, and switch to the wildlife marker. And I need another chest. Or two. We'll go ahead and make another tool rack, too. On that, we're going to on that we're going to hang the scythe, the saw, go ahead and hang the chisel, and the shovel. Do I have a knife on me? Yes. Okay. Let's go take a look and see if we can lure these cows back. time of the day is it? It's getting late in the day. It's getting very late in the day, but I don't feel like waiting. So we're going to be a little risky. I've got my sword.
Now, if this fails, if I can't lure the cows with barley or rye, and I can't find any wheat, which I don't believe there's any wheat around here, there's another option, but it requires me to go on a trip to find jute. Because with jute, you can soak it in a barrel in order to soften up the fibers and then make rope out of it. And with rope, you can lasso the local wildlife and haul them back that way. It's oats. I'll go ahead and collect some of them too. Now, let's go out here and see if we can lure us a few cows. It should be right over this ledge. There's cows. Are you going to follow me with oats? No? How about with oat grain? Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? What have I got here? I got... I got a female, I got two females. Well, this will work for the moment, but I am going to need a male cow. Is that the male? Is that the bull? Are you a bull? You're a baby zombie. You the bull? You're the bull, aren't you? Come on, cows. Get out of the water, silly cow. Get up here. Come on. You can do it. Come on. You get up here. Now. You wait right here for a minute. Oh, shit. How about no? How about... Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Nope. Come on. Ow. Come on, cows. I don't want to have to fight him. I'm going to have to fight him. Oh, shit. This is not going to end well. This is really not going to end well. Jukes for days! Screw you guys, I'm out of here. Figures. Spiders. The one thing that can catch me. Okay. Have I lost them? No. We'll hide right here for a minute. Got a bite to eat. It's just a zombie. You take one.
Uh, I can't take a baby zombie. I can't take a baby zombie. Poor spiders. Chickens. Fuck. Okay. We're going to exploit the fact that zombies are not good at swimming. We're just going to tread water. Wait for morning. Which is a long way away. We're going to get curious and probably end up dying. I thought I saw something glowing over there. I don't want to die again. Really don't want to die again. We're just going to kind of try and tread water here. Wait for daylight. And then we're going to go and try and get those cows home. But I'm just about at the end of an episode here. So I'm going to kind of cautiously over this way a little bit, maybe. Okay, it's... Uh, yeah. It's not glowing. It's not lava. I don't know what I was thinking. Leave me alone, spider. Huh. <sighs> I am pretty good at dodging death, I guess. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Lily went absolutely berserk because the neighbors are bringing their dog in and she can hear it. So, I think this is as good a place as any to call in an episode. This has been Night Dagger with Terra Firmacraft Episode 3. I think in the downtime I'm going to try and get the cows home and maybe do a little housekeeping. And I'll catch you soon with the next episode. Catch you later, peeps.